This is MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to take a look at parabolas and specifically we're going to build equations from pictures and graphs of parabolas. Alright, well in our last video we saw that uh, we started with the equations and we found out what the pictures look like based on those equations. Remember that when the x is being squared the parabola is either open up or it's open down and it depends on the p-value. If this coefficient is positive, we know that it's open up. If it's negative, we know the parabola is open down. Well, conversely, if we're dealing with the y that's being squared instead, this is a different variety of parabola, and this parabola is open either right or left. If the coefficient is positive, it's open right. If the coefficient is negative, it's open left. Okay, so that's a little review of what the equations look like. And just remember the p-value is just the distance from the vertex. That's that little extreme point on the parabola. That's the distance from the vertex and the focus, which is also the same as the distance from the vertex to the directrix. Okay, so you've got this focus point. It's inside the parabola. You've got the vertex, which is the extreme point on the parabola. And you have this line called a directrix. All right. Let's try a problem. So let's say we start with a parabola that's open to the left. We have uh, some information here that we know the vertex right there. Let's say we know the location of the vertex. And it is negative 4, 1. Let's say we know the equation of our directrix, which is a vertical line in this case. And let's say this is x equals negative 2. Alright, well, what we'd like to do, of course, is figure out where is the focus and what is the equation of the parabola. Alright, well, let's get a few things in order. Uh, first of all, we know the parabola is open to the left. So that tells us that the y is being squared. So we're going to be using this particular equation where the y is being squared. We've got 4 times p. And we've got the x over here also. So um, we say that the vertex has coordinates where the y value is k. And the h value represents the x value of our vertex. In other words, when you write your vertex, this is your h comma k. All right, we're putting a few things together, slowly getting an idea of how the picture uh, is affected, or it basically gives us numbers to plop into our uh, equation. All right, well, let's figure out what this distance is here. So the distance between the vertex and the directrix, well, let's see, I'm at negative 4 here on the, for an x value and I'm over here at negative 2, that's a distance of 2, and that's the p-value. Now, is it positive or is it negative? Well, we'll decide that in a second. But if this distance is 2, then I know that the distance from the vertex to the focal point is also 2 units. All right, so if I'm over here at negative 4, and I go 2 units to the left, I'm going to be at negative 6. And the y value is going to be the same because there's still the same distance up from the x axis. So the y values are the same, but it's just the x values that are changing. Okay, now if you're figuring out, well, is this a positive 2? Is it a negative 2? Which does make a difference when we throw it in here. Well, we had to move 2 units to the left to get to the focus. That's how I know it's negative 2. Or another way you can remember is that since it's open to the left, it's negative. If it's open to the right, it's positive. Okay, so let's put our, our values into this equation. Okay, I'm just going to leave some room for numbers. Now, the vertex, whatever those values are, we throw them into this equation, and you can see that we take the opposite. So if this is k, then over here we put in the opposite of k. So since our k value is 1, this turns out to be negative 1. 
or we're just replacing the K with 1. Just like here, if I replace the H with negative 4, I'm going to have a minus negative 4, which makes a positive 4. Okay, in other words, they're just the opposite. So if a negative 4 is here, then you use a positive 4 in the equation. All right, now I'm also going to replace the p-value with negative 2. All right, so what does our equation look like? Well, if we just clean it up a bit, we're going to get a negative 8 and x plus 4. And there you have it. This is the equation of this parabola, and it's written in vertex form. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, here's our second problem. Let's say we're dealing with a directrix that's horizontal. Let's also say that we start with a focus. And the focus is at 2, 5. And of course we'll say we know this directrix has an equation y equals negative 3. What we're going to do is build an equation that matches this scenario. Okay, first of all, let's find something to do uh, with the parabola itself. Uh, well, it turns out that the parabola, the point on the parabola, is always going to be equidistant to the focal point in the directrix. And specifically, the, the vertex, whatever, wherever the vertex is, this distance to the focal point is going to be equal to this distance to the directrix. It's true for all points in the parabola. So let's find this point, this special point called the vertex. Well, the vertex is going to be right in between those two. All right, so in other words, let's find the distance from this point to this directrix. So the distance from 5 to negative 3, that's a distance of 8. Okay, so that means that this distance has to be 4 and this distance has to be 4. Okay, well, that should tell us where it's at. So if I go 4 units down from the focus, I'm going to be at 2, 1. Likewise, if I had gone 4 units up from negative 3, I would have been at a y value of 1. So that is the location of our vertex. Now, if you're wondering where do the branches go, do the branches go? Uh, right, left, up, down. Well, the branches are always going to hug the focus. In other words, gonna, it's like a top view. You're looking down and you see someone about to hug someone else. That's exactly what the branches do with the focus. So I'm going to take this curve and I'm going to pretend like their arms wrapping around the focus. So I know that my parabola is now opening up. All right, well, that tells me that if the parabola is open up, the branches open up, that is, I'm going to square the x value. Okay, and I'm going to put my h in k. Remember that that is the location of our vertex. So if the vertex is at 2, 1, that tells me the h and k. So I know that the h and the k have nice values. All right, so I'm going to start plugging numbers in. Remember that we said that this distance was 4 units. That's the p-value. All right, now is p positive or negative? Well, it's uh, I have to go 4 units up from the vertex to get to the focus, so that is a positive 4. Or because the branches are opening up, that's why it's going to be positive also. So I know I'm going to put a positive 4 in there for the p-value. Okay, so let's set this up. So I'm going to now start putting numbers inside of the equation. All right, let's see. My h value is 2, so I'm going to replace the h with 2. I'm going to replace the k with 1. Notice how it's always just the opposite. If this is 2, 1, then this is a negative 2, negative 1 inside the equation. Let's replace the p value with 4. Just doing a little minor cleanup the P there. Let's say that's 16. And there you go. There is the equation of the parabola, specifically this parabola. Okay, that's it. 
So make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our interactive quizzes, our instructional videos, and text-based lessons. Take care.